don't know why I had my headphones on already. It's not like I had done my intro or whatnot. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. My intros never fail to live out that name, as this commenter so astutely pointed out. Um, yeah, so sometimes my intros are just chaotic, and that kind of just lives up to the name of the channel, which is conveniently Harmonic Chaos. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I don't really know. But what I do know is today I am watching, you like that transition? I am watching, um, or I'm reacting to, excuse me, because that's what I do on the channel. I don't watch videos, I react to videos, which I normally just start vibing with a song and then halfway through, I'm like, oh crap, I gotta actually talk. Um, <laughs> so I've reacted to, um, I'm reacting to, oh no, it's a Nordic word, uh, Skull, which is probably not how you say it, by Miracle of Sound. Um, based on the name, I am assuming it's probably going to be like Viking rock or Viking type vibes, you know? Um, and from what little I've heard of it, because I, the way that I actually found this is because it was in like a reel that I was just scrolling and I saw, or maybe it was a YouTube short. I don't know, one of the two. Um, but all of that aside, um, I've reacted to some Miracle of Sound, some of his work before, um, was Underneath the Black Flag, I believe, was the song that I reacted to on here. Um, been a long time fan of Miracle of Sound, um, and I'm saying um a whole lot, I realize that. So anyways, um, so anyways, um, I literally just called out the fact that I was saying um a whole lot, and then bang, I did it again. But, this song was, uh, this song, uh, Gonna, so I'm going to start doing this thing. I did it last video with the Connor Price thing. So I'm going to start reading the lyrics before I do the like the actual reaction because that way I can, you know, actually show things and stuff and not be like, huh, I wonder who did th this and whatnot. Um, so... This song was composed, produced, and performed by Gavin Dune. He's the person behind Miracle of Sound. Uh, the string section is by Liz Lister. Mixed and edited by Frank Dejean. Dejean. Dejean? D-E space J-O-N-G. I wanted to say Dejean, and I'm like, that's not right. It's probably Dejong, I guess. And... Um, Martin de Groot at Hall 5. I'm assuming that's probably what it is. And the video is by Marius Hoyland. I'm really bad with pronouncing people's names because I either want to put a German spin on it or just a horrible English spin on it. But, yeah. And then there's some extras. Um, Quincy... Lalata, Shord, Stat, Nick DeBoer, Lucas Cerne, and Ravi Quint. Those are just, I think those are just the extras in the song, or in the music video. But without any further ado, let's just jump into this, shall we? Raise your horns into the air, there is plenty here to share. All are welcome, take a chair and sing a song loud and strong. Men of war and men of care, maidens fierce and maidens fair. Raise your horns into the air and sing a song loud and proud and strong. Skull! Skull! Dude, the, the freaking layering of those vocals is so good because... He, uh, Miracle of Sound has a fantastic range in his voice. Also, he can, when he needs to have that gruffness, he, he can go there. And with this song, it fits so perfectly, just having that, like, that gruff, deep, um, leading line. And then he has the low harmony underneath it. And then he has, like, the chorus or just him singing it a bunch of different ways behind him or, like, it, to give it atmospheric. And then obviously there's layering and there's effects on each one. Uh, so it really does feel like, there's a bunch of people singing this song and everyone is just like pounding their fist or whatever have you on a table in a, um, oh, what are these called? Lo uh, longhouses? I think they were called longhouses. Maybe not, probably wrong on that one, but 
a bunch of people just singing this song, kind of like a, a drinking song, if you will. Sing loud and strong. Sol, sol, toast and a... Also, I have a drinking horn. Hold on, I'm going to go grab it. This has literally been sitting. I have a shelf over there. Or, yeah. I'm like, is it a shelf? It's kind of like a cubby that we just mounted to the wall. This has just been sitting up on top of it for a while. I haven't used it in quite a long time, but I have it. And I do, I have used it before. I don't have anything to like, I don't have a holder for it or anything. So it's just gonna like, just gonna chill right there. Just hang out right there. It's gonna watch with us. I'm be like, hey, you see your, your friends? Probably, I don't know. Did they, I wonder, you know, I bet he actually went to, uh, or I don't know if he actually traveled. I assume, I assume he's in this video somewhere. I don't actually can't really remember what he looks like. Uh, wow. Gavin, I think his name is. Yeah. I can't, I can't entirely remember what he looks like. So I'm like, uh, he's probably in this video somewhere, but I just can't pick him out. Um, but I wonder if he actually like went to somewhere in the Nordic countries, whether it be Finland, Sweden, Norway, one of those two, just a fjord like this to just get these shots. Because that looks like a traditional recreation. Or maybe it is just a traditional Viking boat. I don't know. Um, or Viking... <sighs> they have names and I can't remember what they are. Um, but yeah, because this... I mean, this is a fjord by the looks of it. So, like, I wonder if they actually went there and shot. I mean, obviously they would have had to because they've had a bunch of shots in Viking-esque buildings unless they just recreated them, which they also could have done. I'm just rambling at this point on production things. I, If you've been here, you know that. But, um, but yeah, and I can't for the life of me pick out what that stringed instrument is. It just... It, it sounds like a mandolin, but I know it's not a mandolin. Um, it sounds good. I wish they had listed the instruments, but whatever. They looked really happy for people who were apparently charging into battle, if I'm being completely honest. Welcome, take a chair and sing a song loud and strong. Okay, that is an awesome shot. Just this mountain range looks awesome. So they they would have had to go to one of the Nordic countries to get this. I mean, there might be some places in the States where you can find something that looks like this, but there's so much. They're abundant, abundant in those Nordic countries. Men of war and men of care. Maidens fierce and maidens fair. Raise your horns in That arrow didn't go anywhere. <laughs> she shot it from like a hat like a quarter draw on that bow it didn't go anywhere also it's a it's a cool music video it's a really cool looking music video whoever i mean these people aren't stunt individuals they're not stunt people so i'm assuming they probably haven't done any staged fighting before it's evident but i mean it gets the job done i guess because it's like oh yeah you know i mean they're, maybe they're just training i don't know but obviously these people, they're not experts at hand-to-hand -hand combat because they're, they're I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mean because they're giving it their all, obviously. But it's just kind of like, ah, uh, that's kind of obvious. But, I mean, also the person who shot this might not have known how to shoot an action sequence, which is fair. Action sequences are difficult. But, um, yeah. 
it's just like those like those just like little things are kind of just like oh that's kind of goofy which just gets stuck in my brain but overall it's a fantastic music video Into the air and sing a song loud and proud and strong God, God, sing loud and strong God, God, a toast and a thunderous song and my immersion is broken who left that light there? <laughs> Why is the light in the shot? Uh, whoever edited this, no! Uh, that's bringing up my inner editor being like, bro, what are you doing? Why is that there? That shouldn't be there. No! Anyways. <laughs> it looks really cool, but I mean, obviously it's like, yeah, it's obviously... They're using lights and such. There's, you can see the lighting strip on, on the top of the frame too, but eh, it's it's whatever. These people are having fun. And a thunderous song. The war horn in the background. All right. We're welcome and warm. Our voices a storm. Our voices, our voices, a storm. Raise your horns into the air. There is plenty air to share. All are welcome. Take a chair and sing a song loud and strong. Men of war and men of care. Maidens fierce and maidens fair. Raise your horns into the air and sing a song loud. This song is so well composed. It really, really is. Miracle of Sound, I mean, it's... His name literally implies it. The, like... Oh, it's it's so good. It's so well recorded. It is so well mastered and mixed. It's... Nothing is overpowering. Everything fits perfectly into the song. I... <sighs> Dude. S many congratulations. That's hard to do. That is incredibly hard to do, and it's from all I can hear, it's flawless. Just getting the vocals to sound like that in perfect balance is so difficult to do and it's done so well that comes down from the performance and okay so here's the list sorry got distracted here's a list of all the extras but it's the vocal performance it's the mastering it's the mixing it's just so well done so so well done but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope that you absolutely did all enjoy um, go listen to the original song links down in the description down below go watch the video without me mumbling over it um, I really really enjoyed it and with all of that being said I just got an email apparently that's fun um, I thought I muted my I thought I muted my laptop when I'm on lunch that's what I just got another one dang all right well before anything else blows up um, I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching hope you did all enjoy and I'll talk to you guys all next time